subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is type of leaves of the chapter morphology of flowering plants type of leaves leaves are lateral appendages or outgrowths of a plant growing on the stem it consists of three parts leaf base petiole leaf blade or the lamina now depending on the incision present on the lamina leaves are divided into two types that is simple leaves and compound leaves simple leaves in case of a simple leaf an entire lamina is present without any incisions or cuts on it there are no incisions or cuts in the lamina now if ever an incision is present it doesn't reach the midrib such type of leaves are known as simple leaves they can be seen in case of ficus radish mango etc next compound leaves in compound leaves the lamina is broken up according to the incision in the lamina compound leaves are of two types that is pinnately compound and palmately compound now in case of pinnately compound the incision develops from the leaf margin and reaches the midrib as a re result the lamina is broken up into leaflets this way the incision develops from the leaf margin and reaches the leaf midrib dividing the lamina into leaflets in this case the midrib is referred as rachis while in case of pinnately compound leaf the incision develops from the leaf apex and reaches the leaf or the base of the lamina it reaches the base of the lamina dividing the lamina into leaflets this way so in case of pinnately compound the incision develops from the leaf margin and reaches the midrib while in case of palmately compound the incision develops from the leaf apex and reaches the base of the lamina so in case of palmately compound leaf there is no rachis as found in case of the pinnately compound leaf and the leaflets are found attached to the tip of the petiole pinnately compound leaves can be further divided into different types according to the number of time the lamina is broken up first is unipinnate now in case of unipinnate the lamina is broken up only once so this is the lamina which has been broken up once to form the leaflets unipinnate can be further divided into two types according to the number of leaflets present if the number of leaflets is even then it is known as paripinnate and if the number of leaflet is odd as seen in rows there are odd number of leaflets then it is known as imparipinnate 
Now this is a rose leaf. So the example of unipinnate is rose and neem. Next bipinnate. Now in bipinnate the lamina is broken twice. Means the leaflets, these leaflets are further broken up to form the pinnules. This is an example of bipinnate. Example, acacia, gulmohar, and mimosa, mimosa pudica, that is touch me not plant. So this is a bipinnate plant. When the lamina is broken up thrice, it is referred as tripinnate. Seen in case of moringa. And when the division is more than thrice, then it becomes decompound. Seen in case of coriander. This is coriander. And in case of carrot. So, when the lamina is broken up once, that is unipinnate. If it has even number of leaflets, that is paripinnate. If it has odd number of leaflets, that is imparipinnate. Example of which is rose and neem. When the lamina is broken up twice, means the leaflets are further broken up to form pinnules. That is bipinnate. Example acacia, gulmohar, mimosa. When the pinules are further broken up, then it is referred as tripinnate. Example, moringa. And when the leaf lamina is broken them more than thrice, then it is referred as decompound, as seen in case of coriander and carrot. Next, palmately compound leaf in which the incision develops from the leaf apex and reaches the base of the lamina so that the leaflets are found attached to the tip of the petiole and there is no ratches in these leaves. So no ratches in case of leaves that are palmately compound and the leaflets are attached to the tip of petiole. Now when only one leaflet is present, that is known as unifoliate. When there is only one leaflet, it is referred as unifoliate. Example is citrus. So this is a citrus leaf. When there are two leaflets present, as you can see in this image, it is referred as bifoliate. Seen in case of bohemia, that is kachnar. When there are three leaflets, that is trifoliate. Seen in case of oxalis. Four leaflets tetrafoliate seen in case of marsilia it is a pteridophyte and when there are more than four leaflets it is known as multifoliate or digitate In this case, in this figure, there are five leaflets. In this, there are six. In this, there are many leaflets. Example is bombax, commonly referred as silk cotton tree. So, in case of palmately compound leaf, in the leaves, there is no ratches and the leaflets are found attached to the tip of a petiole. When there is only one leaflet is present, it is referred as unifoliate, seen in case of citrus. When there are two leaflets present, bifoliate, seen in case of bohemia, that is kachnar. When there are 
three leaflets that is trifoliate seen in case of ex oxalis when there are four leaflets you can see it here also that is tetrafoliate seen in case of marsilia and when there are more than four, four leaflets that is five six or many that is known as multifoliate or digitate example bombax that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching